Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to Fort William. We've played a lot of games. It's safe to say we're playing quite well. Let me show you. We played a bunch of games, as I said, going all the way up to the PSG game. <clears throat> um, and we've won every single one. I'm not going to take you through them because there's so many girls. Um, <laughs> so last time you were with me, it was here. 2-0, 2-0, 6-1, 2-1, 4-0, 7-0, seven that's the cup. 1-0 against Rangers, 1-0, 3-0, Motherwell 5-0, uh, Aberdeen 5-0, just beat Rangers again in the cup. It's safe to say I think we might be the best team in Scotland. Um, lots of goals, Van Helsing's just hit some really good form. Uh, Martini, hat-trick in the Arbroath game, that, you know, the league one. But still, he's on absolute fire at the moment. He's actually keeping Whisper Meyer out of the team currently. So that's quite a turnaround. So league table's looking all right. I think we might win the league. So I talked about good form going into the PSG game. I think that's fair enough to say that's what we've got. Um, we're going to do a double header today. I think the league's kind of not going to be that exciting this season. I've got a feeling it is remarkable. Like, we rotated the team. The, the averages are absurd. It's, yeah, it's kind of bonkers. Um, if we look at Hartley, he's just gone off form a little bit, but Hartley has got 16 and 18 in the off form. He, he's, he's just got the 16 and 18, um, but he's only scored one goal in four games. So And uh, Van Helsing has come in. And uh, just come in for a couple of games and scored three goals, got an assist. So against the Rangers as well. So he's going to stay in for today. Uh, Gaston, uh, Jung Nichols playing. Everybody's playing brilliantly. It doesn't really matter who I put in. They're all really good. Um, <laughs> McBreity is on fire. It's 18 games I've won in a row, I think. Um, yeah, one of the best runs of form I've ever had. I think we break in all sorts of records. It's going to end today. We like, like let's caveat that by saying PSG are probably going to thump us, but it's been brilliant. It's just been watching glorious football. I've not seen anything like it for a long time. At least in FM nineteen, I've not had anything like it. <clears throat> and this is this is what point where I I really admire. People that play have saved games. Good tackle. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I really admire people that do those builder nation saves. Where because at, at some point it's it's great fun for the first few years and you're battling the league and stuff like that. And then at some point you become the best team. And the last couple of years we been the best team we've won the league twice but it's been really close us rangers and celtic are like battling it out every year and that's been really fun but i think it's kind of ending in a perfect way for me is that we're now just better than everyone like by a bit we're still gonna slip up we might have a bad spell but with anyone in scotland we're just we're just better than and to to really build this into a Champions League team, like a Champions League winning team, competing team with the like with the, with the big boys and stuff like that. We still have like very little fan base. Go on, Charles. Go on, Charles. Oh, I should have scored. Um, we would just need to sort of sit through league season upon league season where we're walking it, which I just don't find fun. Um, after a while, it's good for the first season because it's like, yes, look at what I have created. Um. But after a while, I just couldn't do another five seasons of beating everyone 4-0. And then the only real excitement is then just the Champions League. So I admire anybody that can do that for, for like playing 50 games a season because you only know like only five, ten of those games are going to be exciting. Oh, Jesus. Are going to be actually exciting. Um and also, like, if I was to play on and do maybe another season or two, if FM20 was coming out, you know, in a month's time, I probably wouldn't really get much further. You know, we might get lucky with the Europa League run. I think we could probably compete. I think we could compete regularly at Europa League level. 
I say that as I'm like, you know, out playing PSG. I realise this. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like, I still think we're we're three or four years away from building up because we just don't have that the money. We're still a selling club. After all the said and done, we don't have the fan base. We don't have the merch. We don't have anything like that that we're selling that funds the club. We still, like if I was to carry on this, I'd have to look at selling one of our players in the summer just to so I could then spend and, you know, what needs to be done and stuff. So like I say, I admire anybody that can do those build nations. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Playing all right. Making some great tackles. Right, Davey. Nice. Van Helsing. Go on, son. Go on, son. Oh, that's a penalty all day long. And he's taking it. He's mm, he's not got a great record when it comes to penalties. Like, scores two out of three penalties. Oh, that's class. I always said he was good at penalties. I was like, no doubt that he was going to score that. <laughs> he's, missed a, he's missed a couple already. All right, we're beating PSG. So I'll take it all back. We're the best team in the world. Okay. If it it feels it feels different this year in that like last year we were good but it was like it was it was almost like Norwich playing Man City. It was almost like fuck it, go for it, they're attacking us and scoring we're going for them and it's just like ding dong battle, but eventually like the better players win. Oh that looks like a penalty. But now it looks like a normal game of football against about two good teams playing each other. Right, yeah, Ross. He's not amazing. Penalty saving. Best penalty saver in the world. I've always said that. <laughs> it's a terrible pen. Let's go for a cheeky little dribble. We can't play Hopper not today because he's owned by PSG. <clears throat> I think if I was... I don't know his value, but I'd definitely look to purchasing him. Get him on a permanent... I think the big, the single biggest change for us as a team, I think, was the moment where we could, we were able to sign play. Hang on, hang on. Gaston, cut it back. Cut it back. Gaston. The, the biggest change for us was, I think, the time that we were able to find and recruit centre backs that could pass. Because a, a system relies on it. We play out from the back. And you can do that with bad centre-backs. They generally just very, pass it very short or simply or don't take any risks and occasionally fuck up a lot. But when we got... What was it a couple of years ago? We found a couple of um, ball-playing centre-backs. It was a game... Oh, that's a double foul, isn't it? Um, that, I think, changed it for us. But when you're a, when you're a smaller team, it's hard to find ball-playing centre-backs. That's decent. Come on, come on. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Okay, close him down. Close him down. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Watch the middle. No. Easy for arrows. One for the cameras. That I think you might be going wide. <clears throat> come on, boys. Oh. I think Yarrow's fouled. Okay, apparently Yaros was fouled. It looked like Yaros fouled our own player and we won a free kick from it. We've confused the referee there, I think. They're coming into this quite strongly now. Oh, ping pong. Another dangerous two-footed lunge. Good tackle. See, it's best. Come on, boys. We're battling for this. They're a really good team. Yes, go on. And again. Making some... Oh, and a block. We're, we are absolutely battling for this. It's like a team that's you know is not as good skill wise, but they're on good form. The rails up. They're making blocks <laughs> in this one move. Ah, oh, this one move. We block two shots. We make two good tackles. <laughs> but they're just like really good at football. It's all right. It's all right. It's an away goal. <clears throat> How are we doing, boys? Oh, see, look, no assists, no goals, and he's playing a seven point bloody two. Right, John Nickel. And Charles has missed a lot of chances today. Whisper Myers going up top. 
Are they going to unleash? They're getting, they've got better and better as this game has gone on. I feel like the goalkeeper could have done a bit better there. <clears throat> oh, man. Come on, boys. It was That first half was so encouraging. It's still good. We've had five clear-cut chances, people. We've had five clear-cut chances. But they definitely come into the second half. Come on, let's get a draw. We're still in this game, but let's, let's get ourselves a cheeky draw. Cheeky, cheeky. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Bertram at the back post. Nods it back across. Myers there. Plays it out. He hits it. It scrambles. It's cleared off the line. Oh, we've been done here a bit, boys. With the chances we've created. Charles has missed. Missed a bunch of uh, chances. In that first, in that first like half an hour. Jesus. All right, it's doable. It's do. It's definitely doable. We definitely showed that we can create chances. You know, it's the home leg, which is a bit of a kick in the bollocks, but it's yeah. I'm gonna say I appreciate the efforts, boys. It's still doable. Right, we're gonna skip on to the next one. So we're just going to skip a bunch of games, ending the quarterfinal of the cup. We're still on for the quadruple, people. Um, <laughs> and we'll come back for the next PSG game. We've slipped up, boys. The season's over. We got beaten by Celtic. One that we, we, we outperformed them. Um, 16 shots to five. But we just didn't create. They got a lucky goal. But we bounced back against Hibbs, uh, Van Helsing, Hartley and Wispermeyer getting the goals. Then we beat Dundee 4-0 in the cup quarterfinal. We're still on for the quadruple. We still are technically on for the quadruple. We're playing PSG, boys. I'm actually playing Van Helsing as the deep line forward. He's, he's OK. His passing's only 10. But he's got pretty much everything else. And Charles, has, he's played a lot of football more than anybody else. And I think he just needs a bit of a rest. He's had a few pretty turdish games, so we're giving him a bit of a rest. Uh, McBrearty's on fire at the moment, finally. He's really kicked into gear. Uh, my got himself a goal, so I think we're just going to go with it. Um, Reds, what's his face? Who did my flip? Martini, yeah, he's on the bench. He took a bit of a knock. His form's just dropping off a little bit. Keep the rotation, try and keep the team fresh. So we're 2 1 down with two away goals. This could be ugly. <laughs> right, I'm going to predict the score. You're going to see my genius at work here. I'll pause it so there's no early goals. 3-1 PSG. <clears throat> they'll go 2-0 up. We'll get one back and I'll get excited. And then uh, they'll score another one. Okay, 3-1 PSG. Nice one. Van Helsing. Good turn. Good turn. Poor pass. There's the, there's the 10 passing kicking in. Jesus Christ, look at the pace of this dude. All right, Ziggy Bean. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, 17th to the season for answer. That's all right. It's going to plan. They've scored. They'll get another one. We'll get some hope. Then they'll crush me. Ah, Ziggy Bean's injured. Running too fast. Um. Oh my god, Real Madrid won the first leg 5 1. Oh, come on, Celtic. Means us and Celtic, we found our level. <laughs> first knockout stage. Oh, it's 8 2. That's like us last season. Come on, boys. Come on. Decent. Good hold up play. That's it. Play it across. Play it across again. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to win it back. Brearty. Hartley. Decent. Maya. Come on. Come on. Decent ball across. Yes, Van Helsing. Come on. I'm not quite right, but I'll take it. I'll take it, boys. Away goal. We just need one away goal. Then we go to extra time. It's on. It's definitely on. I think Celtic need a few goals. A oh, ref. He found my goalkeeper. Thank you. 
that was more in hope than expectation, that call. <laughs> it's 3-2. At least Celtic are giving it a go at home. Yeah, I appreciate the efforts, lads. We've won all in Paris. Good interception, Gaston. Oh, from the kickoff. From the kickoff. Oh, that's just a terrible pass. <clears throat> Corner ball. <gasps> Penalty. Shh. <laughs> Nobody panic. That Van Helsing taking it. Good. Come on. Okay. 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 Three, three. It's dead even. Oh my god. Oh my god. Celtic just need five more goals. No, they've got too many. Six more. Celtic just needs six goals and we both go through. Okay. okay. Go on. Oh, fuck me sideways. They've got to score two. They've got to score two now. We've got more away goals. <laughs> Nobody panic! Praise it. Praise it. Praise Jesus. We're looking for the fourth goal. Go on. Go on. Go on, Miller. Left foot. Go on. Oh, he's just hit it really hard. <laughs> just as hard as he can. Just killed the goalkeeper. Okay. Go on. Oh, my God. Oh, he's cleared it off the line. Unbelievable, Jeff. Is this one of the is this one of the few times I bottle it and go defensive? No. No, I must not give in to the dark forces of defensive boring shit. We will fight them to the end. They're gonna score and I'm gonna go defensive. Oh boys, come on, just keep it, just keep it. Just just stop stop this going in. Stop this going in. We can time waste. We can bring on the subs. <laughs> so that's oh okay. Okay, it's all good. Not a bit of worry about... Celtic have got another one. Five more. Come on, Celtic. Okay, Martini. Who's... McBritty's complacent of all the games. Seriously, dude. What a dick face. Okay, more praise, more praise. Okay. 82 minutes. They've got to score two. Win it, win it. Oh, well done, Gaston. That's it. Keep chasing. Keep chasing. Force them back. Winners. Yes, Stavey. What a legend of a young centre-back. Oh, he's missed it. Winters out wide. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Van Helsing on his left. Oh, it's a good save. Kasonga should have scored, though. He should have scored. Would have killed it. Oh, boys. Come on. Yes. Oh, my word. Go on. Surely. Oh, my word. How have you missed that? That's basically a clearance. Oh, no. How have we not scored another one? Oh, how have we let that one in? Oh, it's all going on. It's Oh, it's maestro. It's all going... How? Oh, <laughs> How? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Campbell for ping pong. Okay. Time wastage on. Oh, oh fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. It's offside. It's off. Oh, we're just destined to lose this now. We're just destined to lose this. Everything's just taunting me at this point. Four minutes added on. I've got one time waster left. Junks. Get in there. Get in there. Come on! Yes, boys! We've only gone and done it! We've only gone and knocked out PSG! Get in there! Holy crap! Oh! That was, that was tough going, that, boys. 
We've only gone and done it. Eight million quid. Good. I think we're going to be all right. Two goals from Van Helsing. You, this is it. This is his moment. This is where he breaks out this season. This is it. Finally, we've got the thirty-five million pound player that we were after. <clears throat> Holy shit balls, people. Um where are we? Where are we? Second of second second of March. How's that how does numbers work? Where's the Champions League draw? 27th. Well, that's stupid, isn't it? Right, there we go, my friends. Let's just check to see if uh, Celtic... Oh, 9-4 in aggregate. <laughs> Bayern already... Okay, yeah, Bayern are through. Everton are through. There's a lot of smashings going on here. Okay, right, there we go, my friends. We'll be back for the... Uh, what is it? Quarterfinals of the Champions League? Decent. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.